For the past few months, I've been thinking a lot about life, my journey and the significance of every event that led me to where I am now. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Steve White and I'm an author and founder of Better Days Global. Over the years, many people have described me as being inspirational, a role model, a trailblazer and a blueprint. And while that is very kind and humbling, I have not always been this way and I have not always seen myself in this way. I've been successful, I've written a lot of books, I've travelled the world and I've been fortunate enough to meet so many wonderful people. And although my life work so far can be deemed a success, at many points I've wanted to reinvent myself. I've lived a very colourful life, but no preset or colour filter can illustrate the depths of the things that I've seen and experienced. Many years ago I chose a monochromatic theme as I wanted to help people to see the beauty in the grey area. Keeping everything minimal, no gas, no Hollywood glow, just the truth between the highlights and the shadows in this thing we call life. Speaking of life, I feel as though I've lived several lifetimes. I was abused at a young age. This led to many unhealthy relationships and friendships, bad choices, many career changes and instability. I was filled with insecurities. I've lived with a long-term seizure condition and had many bouts with my mental health. I lost my best friend, my father, and most recently my daughter. This whole channel could just be about my storms, but it's not. I often talk about my experiences, and that's because, by extension, they are human experiences, things that we all go through. And I also know that it's very comforting to not feel as though you are the only one who is feeling what you are feeling. And this is why I share. I share this with you because I understand that there are many people who are going through what I have been through and I identified that at a certain point the trajectory of my life changed once I decided to use my pain and turn it into purpose. Though there were many successes, all of the success in the world and external gratification couldn't fix what was broken inside. In 2015, at the height of my career, I decided to step away. I crashed, I had a mental breakdown. I decided to step outside of the algorithms, deleted everything, and just wanted to connect with myself and really start my journey of healing. I wanted to sacrifice parts of myself and to challenge myself and say, how much of this am I doing out of self-gratification? How much of this is ego? And the only way that I could find out the answer to those questions was to step away and not just step away, delete everything. Each day that went by, I was revealing another layer of myself. And this is what's brought me here today to speak on the topic of reinventing yourself. Just over a year ago, I decided to come back in front of the world, but I wasn't fully ready. And so I hid behind my new book, just taking me out of the picture. I had so many amazing projects and ideas that I wanted to release, but I didn't know who I wanted to be publicly. My experiences, both good and bad, created the character of who I was before I left. He was a version of me, but he was shaped by a world of stuff, gratification, numbers, acquiring more, and privilege. I liked the life that he afforded me, but I wasn't ready to be him full time. My experiences offline and away for five years also shaped a character, but this one shaped by a world of purpose, stillness, and being true to who I really am. In this space, I was able to find a balance of expression, humility, and authenticity. I come from a personal development background where the solution to everything is just get better, do better, aim higher, strive for more, be more, get more, and desire more. But what happens when we discover that more is never enough? That seems to be our current cultural norm. We have an obsession with productivity and growth. And these all stem from our ideas around progress. But these endeavours don't give us the space for complicated things like emotions, feelings and healing. Looking at the world outside of us, hoping that it will fill something, some void deep within us. Everywhere you turn, there is a personal development solution to an experience you are going through. Some external fix and temporary aid connected to a future result that won't have you feeling as vulnerable and insignificant as you do now. I was in this cycle, 
but I've since learned that there is greater peace in finding contentment in where you are now. There is also great power in realising that it is the only time that actually exists, as opposed to trying to escape your present, striving for a future version of yourself that isn't promised. I've learned in the hardest way through loss that the future is an illusion and a dangerous place to put your trust and peace. The only time where you can make anything significant happen in your life is right now. That last sentence is a note to self because at many times I've been like, dude, you need to take the power back. It reminded me of that one scene in the famous movie, The Lion King, where Mufasa vividly speaks to Simba and says, remember who you are. I've repeated this sentiment to myself on several occasions because I'm very aware that I need to be intentional about my next chapter. I have to choose my next chapter or die with everything that I was supposed to be. Morbid much, but after going through everything that I have been through and experienced, only death can move me into life. So after years of overthinking this reinvention, it came to me that it's more about letting things go as opposed to acquiring more, unlearning and shedding off dead weight. It's the releasing of harmful behaviours, lifestyle choices and the patterns that we've learned through trauma, trends and our life circumstances at different moments. It doesn't have to be about creating a better, newer version of yourself, rather just accepting who you are today in this moment. Authenticity works, and so you don't have to reinvent the wheel to reinvent yourself, nor do you have to manufacture a new or different version of yourself. You may have to drop some things and pick up some others, but the truth is you'll never be consistent in being anything but yourself. Part of my process was about being intentional about who I am right now. And so, here I am now, reintroducing myself. I'm a storyteller who wants to empower people through story, through art, through creative expression, and help people to have inspiration, hope, joy, and healing. We all connect to stories in various forms, and I want to be able to share stories with you in an artistic and empowering way and some of the things that I've learned along the way to help you to continue to be exactly who you are because that is enough. Life isn't a sprint, nor is it a marathon. It's more like a relay. I look forward to sharing my art, stories and creative expressions with you. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. I look forward to this new chapter and journeying with you. Until next time, stay blessed and I wish you better days.